Hey, what's up guys? Tony here. And today's topic is Magic Lantern. So is it right for you or should you install it? I'm going to be talking about the features and also what it has to offer. So hopefully I can answer some of your guys' questions. To start things off, what is Magic Lantern? Well, according to their website, Magic Lantern is an enhancement atop a Canon's firmware that frees your Canon DSLR, allowing you to use many useful features. So simply put, it's a free firmware add-on with many features that enhance your camera's abilities. Now before considering Magic Lantern, it's important to know that this software is not a hack. You see, what it is is a program that runs alongside Canon's own firmware. So you place Magic Lantern onto your memory card and you run it off your memory card. So since you're running it off your memory card, it doesn't make any changes to your camera's internal hardware. So here are some of the cool features that Magic Lantern has to offer. We have a built-in intervalometer, and if you guys don't know what an intervalometer is, basically what it allows you to do is set an amount of photos or video to be taken in a certain amount of time, and you can create very nice time lapses with this feature. With Magic Lantern, you're equipped with full manual audio controls, and with cameras that don't have audio controls, this is a plus, especially with the Canon Rebel T2i or 550D. You can disable AGC automatic gain control, you can adjust input levels, you can turn on mic power, and also you have the option to view audio meters while you're recording. Now this feature especially caught my attention, it's the audio trigger, and basically what it allows you to do is set your camera up and take a picture by clapping or making a loud noise so you're completely hands free and this could be useful for people who do stop motion videos and if you don't have a remote then this is the feature that you want to go for. With Magic Lantern you have exposure helpers so we have zebra lines, false color, histograms, waveform, spot meters, and vector scopes. We have a lot of focus tools as well. We have focus peaking, you can zoom in while you're recording. We have a trap focus, rack focus, follow focus, and stack focus. We have HDR video. If you don't know what HDR stands for, it stands for high dynamic range. If you imagine a brighter image and a darker image, put them together to make one whole image. Basically, you're highlighting the main features, the better parts of each image. But now you can do it with video, and that is a plus with Magic Lantern. So now let's talk about the downsides of Magic Lantern. Well, not really the downsides, but more like minor ripples. So first, Sometimes you can experience like little glitches and bugs, but th these are really tiny and you barely, rarely ever experience these. Uh, second, I'm sure anyone who's used Magic Lantern can say that the user interface is a bit confusing and not as clean looking as Canon's interface, but as time passes, you'll learn to get used to it. And it it's just one of those smaller things, you know, minor ripples, like I said before. And lastly, Magic Lantern is extremely scary to, to install to your camera. I remember when I did it, I was sweating and I was nervous. And I know it's not a hack, but there's still a tiny, tiny, tiny chance that you may brick your camera. And if you don't know what brick means, it pre it's pretty much like making your camera or your device useless. And I know it's highly unlikely, but it's just scary to think that something you work for, you paid your hard-earned money on, may turn into an expensive piece of plastic. And even on the Magic Lantern website, it says they can't be certain that it's 100% safe. Although it most likely won't happen, it's just plain scary to think. And if you follow all the instructions to installing it to your camera, I'm sure you'll be fine. And it is possible to unbreak your camera. It's just not too fun to do. Like I said before, these are just minor things. And honestly, I found it very hard to even make this list because for the most part, Magic Lantern works beautifully. Now back to the main question, is Magic Lantern right for you? Well, here's what I want you to do. Take a look at all the features the Canon software has to offer, and now Magic Lantern. Now it's fact that Magic Lantern has a ton more to offer, and if you're willing to go through the nerves of watching Magic Lantern installed to your camera, and you think these features can help you out immensely, then yes, of course, it's right for you. And if not, I don't blame you. It is a scary thing to do. And sometimes you just have to measure the risk advantage ratio and make your judgment based off that. So if you think the risk of installing Magic Lantern outweighs the advantage that you might receive from the software, then no, Magic Lantern is not for you. However, if you think the advantage of installing Magic Lantern outweighs the risks, that you'll get from the software, then of course it's for you. And if you think the risk advantage ratio is equal, then give it some time and thought. And when you're ready, Magic Lantern will be waiting for you in its lantern. <laughs>
I hope this video helped. In the description below, I provided you with a link to the Magic Lantern website so you can check out the features I didn't mention. Also, if you have any questions or comments, comment below and I'll answer. Message me here on YouTube and I'll get back to you. Or you can email me at thefilmguy1 at yahoo.com. Also, if you have any other questions relating to cameras or anything of that sort and you'd like to see it in a future video, please let me know. Thanks for watching this video. If you like my content, you know what to do. I'll see you guys in my next video.